when I was in medical school, we were talking about stem cells and that was doing research. And then I met a doctor who treated an autistic kid and he was showing me of all these responses from the teacher, from a simple stem cell infusion from the umbilical cord, how it was invoking these powerful changes in this kid's behavior. Something that I was not able to accomplish when I was uh, working as a psychiatrist. I worked as a psychiatrist 11 years and autism was the most difficult and frustrating condition. I started doing stem cells on myself, not because I was sick with anything, just because I knew how anti-inflammatory and just the reports of how good people feel when they take the stem cell infusions, how they have heightened energy, increased brain capacity, or heightened sex drive. This is something that I didn't want to miss. And what's interesting was I did not anticipate that this is gonna reverse aging. I just thought I was gonna prevent decline. It not only helped me to do better, but helped me look better because it rejuvenates you from the inside out. So it literally rejuvenates all your organs in turn, your muscles, your ligaments. So everything is lifted and rejuvenated. So as a tool to prolong health span, and to actually dial back the clock. And then research has also shown that it can enhance your longevity. Animal studies, the easiest to do, actually it can enhance animals' lifespan by about 30%. And not only they are living longer, but they're living better. Their fur is shinier, their spine is straighter, and they're running you know, better, their motility is better, their brain is functioning really well, they can you know, do their mazes better. So as an anti-aging tool, it's really powerful. So I have patients come to me from age five to you know in their 90s. Either they have a health issue, they may have autism, they may have a brain disorder, they may have any kind of autoimmune like psoriasis and you know, any kind of injuries, or they come to me just for anti-aging purposes. They just want to live better, have less pain, be more active. You know, I have a lot of retirees who have made plenty of money, but now they're, it's time to enjoy life. They're supposed to go around the world and now they're in pain. So, so people come to me, these are the people who come to me every three to six months to get an IV infusion to rejuvenate their system. So that's something I think is really powerful. Unfortunately, a lot of people in this country have no idea that you can get stem cell treatment in the United States. They think it's illegal. So that's my job to kind of dispel the myths. So if anyone of you are interested, I have a lot of talks on YouTube. You just look up Joy Kong, MD Kong, just, you know, like King Kong, and just look me up. And there's a lot of educational videos. I train a lot of physicians. I founded an academy. Doctors can get trained on that and they have, you know, we have research results from all around the world of different conditions. It's very powerful data. But one of the things I try to do in these public forums is to bust myths because the myths of, of stem cells not being legal in the U.S. is just not true. There are plenty of doctors actually are doing stem cell therapy in the United States because we're using cells that have not been manipulated, which means the cells have not been multiplied or have not been changed by chemicals or enzymes so they were in the original form either you can get it from your own body or you can get it from the umbilical cord from somebody else right so from your own body it will be the cells of your age so whatever you've done to your life you know all the alcohol you've drank you know all the toxic exposures you've had you know emf so everything's going to affect your stem cells and uh, that's just a you know fact of life so your stem cells are not going to be as potent as umbilical cord derived stem cells. So umbilical cord, that's when the baby's born, right? The cord is cut. And usually the cord and placenta is tossed away, but now we know they have powerful regenerative elements, cells that we can extract and then give it back to people. And it doesn't cause immune reaction because these cells are so primitive and so young. It's able to adapt to your body better. Not only they're more potent than your own stem cells, What's cool is that there's actually less cancer promoting properties. Because one thing you may have heard of is the concern of cancer from stem cells because the stem cells tell everything to grow. But when it's your own stem cells, your cells somehow have lost some capabilities of recognizing a cell as pathological. This is not the time to make that cell grow. So umbilical cord stem cells, they're so young, somehow they can recognize that there's something wrong with these cells and it can trigger programmed cell death. So they're vastly different. If you use your own stem cells, yes, if you have some existing cancer, it could promote your cancer. But vast majority of the evidence, you know, excluding some petri dish, some, some experiments, but 
um, those are very different from in the human body. But overwhelming <laughs> evidence of early stem cells is that they can actually help you get rid of cancer. Actually, it's one way to treat cancer. So of course, we can't claim that you know we're, we're treating cancer, but you just look at all the research from around the world, how many are using these stem cells as cancer treatment and look at the results. So powerful, powerful stuff. I just busted two myths, right? That stem cells is not legal in the US and that using your own cells is better. Actually, it's not. One of the myths is that more is better. So more of what? Let's say I give you fresh new stem cells extracted from the umbilical cord. Yeah, if I give you more of it, then more cells can go to work at different organs and treat different areas to calm the inflammation, right? The more problems you have, the more cells you're going to need. And so the more could be better up to a certain point. But if you're using more cells, but you're using expanded cells, which means that they are putting these cells in the culture medium and growing them to a huge number. So basically you are putting the cells in an artificial environment and let them grow to huge numbers. This is what they're doing overseas. You go to Mexico, Colombia, Panama, the Bahamas, all these places. Why are these companies going overseas to do this? Because they don't have to go through the clinical trials. If you expand the cells, that means you're altering the cells and the FDA says, now you're making a drug. So if you're making a drug, you better get drug approval. You better do clinical studies. It takes a lot of time, energy, money. That's why all these companies just go overseas. And they just set up a shop saying, hey, you know, we're growing cells. So come over here. We're going to charge you lots of money. We're going to give you a lot of cells, which sounds really good. And people are buying into it. The problem is I just did a podcast with one of my patients. This is 9-11 responder. He went to Mexico to get a stem cell treatment, got a lot of stem cells, 150 million of them. He got two months of extreme fatigue. What's interesting was that he connected with all the people that were there, about 20 other patients, and they all kept in touch. So they were all texting each other, you know, finding out what, how each other's doing. Everybody got extreme fatigue for various lengths of time. Uh, but two and a half months later, he got better. You know, his lung capacity, you know, the damages were, were repairing, he was doing better. But then he didn't know about me. Then he found me on YouTube, came to my clinic. I only gave him 40 million cells, a lot less. Absolutely no fatigue, but increased energy. And it didn't take two and a half months. It took three days for him to notice a difference in his symptoms. Not only his lungs were getting better, which was stagnant after the last treatment, but also his mental capacity. Just because you're getting stem cell treatment doesn't mean that they're all equal. So when you're getting expanded cells, the problem with expansion is that the accumulation of genetic changes really start to take its toll and the cells start to morph into a more differentiated form, which means that they're manifesting the surface markers that shows the, the same characteristics as a donor. So then now you've got a donor recipient reaction, right? The immune system can recognize this is not me. I, I need to mount an attack. That's why this patient has such a fatigue reaction. This is really the immune system is rejecting the, the new cells. So if you're giving a lot of cells, but they're expanded, that means you're sacrificing some of the qualities of your cells. You can actually get less response and you can get more side effects. And that's what I've seen consistently overseas. We're entering the new era of medicine. I believe energy is a powerful way of healing. And I do believe stem cell therapy is a form of energy therapy because we're utilizing the intelligence that's embedded in the DNA to heal. And the DNA is the most energy dense substance in the universe.